Welcome to Sometimes Two Apps Are Better Than One. Hey, I'm Eric, and um, today's topic is something that has been on my mind for for a while. Uh, and let me give you a bit of a, a bit of background. So, I am I'm currently working on on the next version of the Simple Object Designer app. Um, those of you who know it, knows it, knows it. And for those who doesn't know it, uh, it's basically an app where you can you can you can build Business Central apps, customizations without writing code. So it's it's a um, it's not a revival of the old Optic Designer from Nav, but it's the same idea that some of the capabilities that that thing gave consultants and end users with Nav. My app is giving the same people those capabilities with Business Central. Anyway, um, one of the things that happens more and more is the fact that you have tenants, you have customers, you have uh, systems with more than one uh, party supplying code. Um, and quite often you end up in having multiple apps. And uh, one thing that has happened, is happening more and more, is that, that people get into a, uh, a dependency issue. Um, let, let, me ex let me explain that. See, I got a new thing here. Let's try and see if that works. Um, so imagine that, you know, imagine that you're building, you're, you're building app A. It's perfect. That's your app. It works exactly like it should. Um, then at some point, um, there's another party. There's another partner. There's another freelancer. There's something, something else, right? And that something else is you no know, building app B. Uh, we have two apps in this. No, no, no worries. We have two apps running, um, but. Then one day, the the people from from building app B, customers. Oh, but when you're you're working on sales header, you're working on something. You need to use that field. We we got us. We got an extra field. We need you need to use that. So no problem. Uh, so so app B takes a dependency on app A. Because at B needs to, we have a field over here, and 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 we need to use it over here. So, so we need to create a dependency between them. So at B is now dependent on app A. That is great. Then at some point, and here here here's where the problem starts, is that the the A part. The, the basically the same thing happens oh hang on uh we got we got another field over here let's uh let's uh yeah so 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 if this was field number one so this is one then field number two here um they say okay but we need to use it here so now the people who build a takes a dependency on B. And now everything breaks. Because what we have here is now known as circular dependency. Uh, so if, if we have these two, we have A that is dependent on B and we have B that is dependent on A. Which one do you install first? You can only install an app if all dependencies for an app has been fulfilled. Otherwise, the installation will fail because you have a dependency to something that doesn't exist. Uh, the hen and the egg, or whatever you want to want to put this, cats twenty two. Um, this is not possible. So, 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 what do we do? Well, uh, something's got to give because clearly this structure cannot work. Um, so. Let's uh, let, let let's try to erase this thing and and 
then take another approach. I'll go away, go away. There's probably a clear somewhere, but I don't know where it is. Um, so let's uh, let's take another look at the side of A. So if you want to be nice over here, whomever is producing A, if you want to be nice, uh, you have to consider hmm. And and this is this is the terms that I have come up with in in the in. The, the work I've been doing, I'll, I'll, I'll demo what I have, I have in a bit, um, is that you can um, you can basically think about whenever you're building an app, uh, you produce something, so that is one part, and you consume something. Um, so so if we if we look at it from that perspective, then. Uh, we we are producing something, so that's clearly that is something, and then we are consuming something. But we can, of course, consume what we use ourselves. So whatever we produce. We can consume ourselves. So if we are in a a closed uh, closed world where there's con us, we we could simply create two apps here. So this is app A one, and this is app A two. They work fine. A two now had a, have a dependency on A one, which means that you, if you want to install this, you have to install A one before you install A two, because if we install a two first, then there's a d dependency to so something that is not cannot be fulfilled, so cannot be installed. So this is great, and everything will basically work the exact same way as it have been. So now we let's introduce our friends from B. It's so, okay, and 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 let's say that uh, that B is just. As it were before, B is just B, because that's how those guys operate. Um, and we figure out that we still need the field that we had in A. We still need it over here in B. So so far so good, because that also worked in the other one. But what about now? So now. Um, we we go back to the APU and say, okay, but we need to use that field over from B. Well, now that's a consume. That's not a produced part. You're consuming a field instead of a producing field. So the the field we have here, we can still consume this without because we can install A one and. Does the does not A1 is not dependent on everything that installs. Then we can still install B because B is dependent on A1. And then after A1 and B is installed, then we can install A2. And everything is dandy. Uh, so it, getting getting rid of the circular thing by separating into produce and consume. Um, and uh, that 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 so so that has been the idea that has floating. That's the idea that's been floating inside my head for for quite a while. Uh, because uh, reality is that there are so many uh, users of uh, of the simple object design now that that there's a fair amount of creativity going on. There's a fair amount of Increasingly complex environments and relationships, and so on. Um, and up until uh, way very soon, uh, you you basically you just worked in one app with the with the simple object designer. That was that was kind of how it worked. So, you know, simple. Um, so I was thinking about this about. Consuming and producing, and uh, let's see. If here is the simple object designer. So, 
can I split an app? That was, that was kind of can can I can I would without making stuff not simple. Can 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 I meaningfully split an app? Um, and um, I got to the conclusion that I can. Yeah. Uh, with similar design, we can do a lot of stuff. So we can we can create whole new tables and stuff like that. Clearly, that is produce mainly produce. I know that that there 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 is a there is a corner case, um, and the corner case is is mainly flow fields and lookup fields uh, that you produce a real field, but that field has a dependency, and and that is uh, that corner case is okay i i can accept that that wouldn't work in, in my scenario uh it wouldn't work in in any automated way anyway because going back to uh this guy haha <laughs> i pressed the wrong key uh going back to this one if we if we have uh stuff down here that is now um let's see if, if we have stuff in a1 that has a dependency to b then then we're bro it's broken anyway um but big lines yeah if we create a new table here for sure that is that is produce um if we add calculated fields to reports and pages that's consume right if we want to mark mandatory fields uh, on, on on actions, now we're consuming again. Uh, if we are adding existing fields to pages and reports and stuff like that, we are clearly uh, consuming. Uh, if we're creating new fields, uh, then we're producing. Um, if we're exposing data as APIs or creating queries, then we're consuming again. Uh, so with the limited set of things that the users can do with the simple object designer ever expanding limited but nonetheless limited compared to what you can do in al uh, it was fairly easy for me to 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 separate and say ah oh, this is this is produce this is consume so uh, and 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 what you're seeing here is is the next version uh so to keep again keep it keep it simple that's my mission statement here go in and say well you know what this is a dual app now so instead of producing a single app I say, huh, let's produce a dual app and that's the only thing i need to do then i can go publish and say i want to publish this environment and now instead of normally writing one app here it's actually writing two apps and uh, based on the separation and at some point it's gonna compile the first app uh, and when it's done with compiling the first app it's gonna finish up the second app because now we need to have a dependencies the dependency on the first app so it compiles the first app and then that first app becomes a simple in the second app and then we compile the second app and um, when it's done compiling both of them which in a, in a second or two, um, then it will start to deploy these. That's happened now. So, uh, and we in this case we got a we got a download also. Uh, the download we get was a zip file, and the zip file contains. Oh, oh open up my screen. The zip file contains the two different apps. So we can see that we have one app that is just my customizations, hard to see here, um, as features and table extensions. And the, the other one, uh, the other one has, let me get my keyboard back. The other one has, uh, APIs and page extension and report extension and queries. And now we can see that it's deploying the first app and waiting for that to uh, to complete. And then 
Deploying an app to app so not to app so PT deploying a PT to the cloud typically takes a minute and twenty something seconds. In this case, I actually did it in a minute and seven. So now we are on to deploying the second app. So it deployed successfully the first. Now it it's deploying the second one, and um, you can see that's also number two here. So. From a consumer, and again, now, now this is this is Eric App uh, developer speaking. That yeah, it takes a bit longer to deploy this, but but it's still the simple way that you produce. You just tell the simple app designer what you do, and then it produces two apps. But the reason I thought this was interesting to do a video about is that this approach could be taken. Uh, by you know a regular uh, perhaps instead of building one app you build two because you know you're going into a a customer that have have an, another developer working or there's an ISV that is also producing customizations or whatever so in order to prepare for for the future. You could start by thinking, oh, am I producing or am I consuming? And then do a uh, do a multi uh, multi route uh, setup with, with with two apps in, instead. Let's see if the second one is deployed here. Uh, yeah. By the way, you you you're now part of my uh, my testing of this feature because the last lines of code for this was uh, written a couple of hours ago, uh, but it did work before I started the video. So yeah. there we go. Deployment uh, completed successfully. Um, so that will be coming to the Simple Optic Designer uh, very soon, um, and and I think it's I think it's cool. I, I like the concept of uh, especially for all the partners who are using the Simple Optic Designer with their customers. Then it's easy to have that live and and but if you if you do, or if you're doing some regular customizations uh, for the clients, dependencies are mostly no longer an issue. There is the flow field, lookup field uh, kind of thing that still can throw you off, but I cannot solve that in the simple app designer because it's not a simple solution to uh, to avoid that. Um, so I think. My my mission statement here is clear. Let me know what you think. Am I uh, am I simplifying this too much, or is this will will this work for you? Uh, and after you have commented, let's see where it is. It's right here. Check this one out. There's a lot of other good ale hacking going on here. I'll see you there. Take care. Bye.